Today I'm going to talk about one of the weirdest pests that attacks turf, and that is an insect known as a ground pearl, also sometimes called a pearl scale. The primary reason that ground pearls are strange is that for most of their life cycle, they don't look like insects at all. Instead, in their spherical shape and in their small size, they range in diameter from about 1 32nd of an inch to 1 6th of an inch. They look a lot more like fertilizer granules than they do like insects. If you look at them even under the microscope, you'll see no legs or other visible body parts that would lead you to think you're looking at an insect, much less anything that's even alive. Ground pearls are classified as scale insects in the genus Margarodes. You may be familiar with scale insects. Many are pests that feed on the above ground parts of trees and ornamental plants. But the second reason that ground pearls are strange is that they feed below ground on the roots of warm season turf grasses such as Bermuda grass, centipede grass, bahia grass, carpet grass, St. Augustine, and zoysia. Of these, centipede grass is the most sensitive to attack and to damage. Continued feeding by ground pearls causes the turf to gradually lose its green color, to turn yellow, and then brown, and then to die. As you can see in this photo of a sports field uh, that was taken near Phoenix, Arizona, this sports field was heavily infested with ground pearls. Ground pearls are found mostly in the southern tier of the United States and in Australia. And it's likely that they occur in many other warm season locations. It's just that they haven't been uh, properly identified there. Ground pearls have an odd life cycle. They spend the majority of their lives, which can last one or two or maybe even more years, in the soil in the resistant ground pearl stage. While in this stage, the insect is protected by a kind of a firm, thick, waxy coating, it makes them almost completely uh, impervious to any kind of insecticide that is applied against it. In the springtime, though, adult female insects, which are appropriately pink in color, such as this one, emerge from these cyst-like pearls and start to lay eggs in the soil. One female can lay several hundred eggs in her lifetime. When the eggs hatch just a few days after they're laid, a small, mobile, immature insect known as a crawler appears. This crawler will attach itself onto plant roots almost immediately and begin to feed. And it's believed that they secrete a toxin, which in addition to the insect sucking on the uh, root juices, uh, the toxin will hasten the plant's death. As soon as the crawlers find a root to feed on, they almost immediately start secreting the waxy material that will form the ground pearl that comes to protect the insect over time. So that's the third troubling thing about ground pearls. That is, they're almost impossible to control because they spend so much of their time inside the protective shell of the ground pearl stage. To date, none of the insecticides, biological control agents, or even cultural practices that have been tested have managed to successfully control ground pearls. The good news is that ground pearls are not a very common problem. The bad news is that when they do occur, they cause a lot of damage, and the damage gets worse from one year to the next. And there's almost nothing that can be done to control them. With uh, Bermuda grass and other of the warm season grasses that rejuvenate easily, sometimes babying the turf with extra water and fertility can help the turf to outgrow the damage caused by the ground pearls. If that isn't effective, sometimes the turf can be replaced with a non-susceptible variety of turf. And in this case, it would have to be a cool season turf. Almost all warm season turf species that we know of are attacked by ground pearls. If it's not possible to replace the warm season turf with cool season turf, then sometimes the only option is to plant the area to a variety that is not turf at all. Um, 
attempts to excavate the soil to remove up to about a foot of the soil in an attempt to control ground pearls have not been successful, and this is because ground pearls can occur quite deeply uh, in the soil profile, so that even going a foot deep isn't going to do the trick. And rotating out of warm season turf for a year or two doesn't work. They seem to be able to live for a long time in the soil without any turf around, and then the minute you put the warm season turf back in, voila, more damage. Uh, so they are at this point, not a pest that we know how to control very well, other than trying to uh, baby the turf to outgrow the damage. We know very little about this strange insect, but entomologists are continuing to study its biology and life cycle in hopes that one day soon, they're gonna find the weak link in the life cycle that will make it possible for us to manage this pest better in the future.